we've learned they practiced all summer long. Well, today, hundreds of girls from the Omaha Metro will participate in their very own triathlon. KTV News Watch 7's Michelle Bandorp is a co-founder of the Iron Hawk Juniors Triathlon. She joins us live, Michelle. Hey, good morning, Jose. It is going to be a wonderful day here. I want to tell you, I am standing at the finish line of the second annual Ironhawk Juniors Triathlon. We have 265 girls towing the line today. They have worked for eight weeks so hard to get to this day today so they can do their very first triathlon. How many people can say they're going to do a triathlon today? Our brave girls are. So I want to show you our finish line here. Look at these signs set up. We have the girls make these positive signs lining the finish line as they cross, get to the shoot and cross the finish line. This one says Tiger's Roar. We have another co-founder here, Erin Sullivan. She has put this thing on like dots all the I's, crosses all the T's. She has everything down to the number. Erin, what are you looking forward to today? The finish line. <laughs> the kids, it is emotional. They've never done a triathlon. They cross the line. They cry. We cry. The crowd roars. It's fantastic. And Erin, what we love about our triathlon and our club here, and something important to you, is that everything's free. So this year we gave away almost 100 bikes. We gave away 100 helmets, swimsuits, goggles, anything one of the kids needed to finish this triathlon, they got it for free. The sport is expensive, and so we wanted to make it available to people who may not have had the chance to ever experience something like this. Tell right. me about that. So it, it is interesting when you have a 12-year-old who has never owned a bike and doesn't know how to ride a bike. So we wanted them to have that ability to be able to do it. Okay, and Erin, she is also a U.S. Masters swim coach, and she has taught many girls to swim this 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 year, uh, like 70 girls we taught how we to did. swim. Yeah. The kids are going to be great in the water. We're going to let them do whatever they need to do to finish. They'll finish. And it starts at 8 o'clock. We're going to be back here to show you that start as the girls get ready to be positive, support each other, be brave. Reporting live from College of St. Mary, Michelle Bandur, KETV Newswatch 7.